apart. I came apart like the avocado pits of my mother's childhood, the avocado pits she would pin in a Tupperware container with toothpicks and fill with water. Because in a month and a half, she would have a birth at her kitchen windowsill when the pit would crack in the Midwestern sun and bear a tree that was really no more than a twig. Now I think about that tree whenever I look at my reflection in the mirror and want to cut it up with scissors. I remember that twig for self-motivation. Breaking. I thought I was breaking when I rose from my middle school gym's floor and blood slipped down my leg like a secret. Everyone came to know at once. I was 11 and had never felt more betrayed by my own body. I was 11 with a tundra for a womb and murder weapons for legs, you know. In four years, I have seen more blood than any man in a horror movie ever will. And each time I bleed, I have the same feeling at least once, that I am dying. I am shedding away from life in a population of females that feel my pain burn. I wanted to burn the hands of the eighth grade boy who followed me home one January day when I was in seventh grade. He tried to pop the buttons off my blouse, wrapped his boiling water hands around my forearms and called me a stupid bitch. So yes, his hands were boiling water, but I, I am of the purest fire. I was in fists and elbows all over him until I was running, my clothes whipping through the winter winds like a superhero's cape. Maybe, maybe I was my own superhero that day. Transformation. A transformation occurred when I stopped being afraid of what some men think because they do not understand what it means to be a woman. See, there is a city inside all of us, and in the city inside myself, I have got children swimming in the seas between my shoulder blades and graffiti sprayed across my shins. But how I wanted to be a part of the city inside someone else, how afraid I was of the commitment that comes with myself. But I have learned now, it is beautiful to take care of the little things inside of you. It is beautiful to survive. I am beautiful. <laughs>